Hello there, welcome back to another wine review. It's your Wisconsin wine guy. Now these are wines that you can find in your everyday liquor store, grocery store, or even some wine shop shelves. I go through, make a selection, and I give you my personal opinion or my thoughts on what I think about the wine. Simple, simple, simple system. Thumbs up, I highly recommend that wine. Three quarters, you know what? I would drink that wine and I would share it with friends and would not be ashamed of it. Halfway, not so much for me, you know, but maybe for some of you, give it a taste and let us all know what you think. And thumbs down. Ooh, 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 get that wine out of here. Now, I've sent you, I have this new setup here for filming. You can actually see the wine now. So we're going to be doing this 2018 Rufino. But the most important part of this, Rufino is the brand. Orvieto Classico. Isn't it cool just to say Italian names? Orvieto Classico. Now, this is made from two grapes, uh, Grichetto, let me get my notes here, Grichetto and Procanico, or better known as Trebbiano. So now, I've always enjoyed Orvieto Classicos. If you are a Pinot Grigio, a Unoc Chardonnay, Sauvignon Blanc, dry Riesling drinker, any of the different varietals of dry white wines, you should enjoy this, especially if you're a Pinot Grigio drinker. You should enjoy the Rufino or enjoy the Orvieto Classico. So let's give it a pour. Screw cap. You know how I feel about screw caps. If the wine is bad in the bottle, if the wine is bad, it means it went to the bottle that way. So I have no qualms when it comes to having a screw cap or no qualms on different types of closures. So now, give it a swirl. Look at that color. It has a nice yellowish hue to it. Okay. That nose is pear or apple. Maybe I'm going to with apple. Citrus. You know, you ever like had it? When you think of lemons, you think of uh, like sour. You ever had like a very ripe lemon, and you get that 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 kind of fruity smell, the pulp. That's what I'm getting here when I talk about citrus or lemon. Mm, wow, that nose is great. Now you know how I feel about wines, whether it be especially white, but red also, must have acidity, must be lively. Here we go. So that's my writ. Acidity is spot on, right there. I didn't even take my, my second taste yet, but the, the fruit is remarkable. It's, it's very pleasant. You know, it just, just envelops you know, the, the mouth. You just get the fruit that's all over it. That pear apple combination that I feel. But finishing off the citrus, nice mouth watering acidity, but not over the top. Not going to make your, your, your face go like this, but just very nice, very elegant, very pleasant. Now, for the taste. Mm. You see, I would drink this. It's dry but fruity. Fruity up front, but then the fruit stays. You know, it's just like, again, biting into like a... Um, what is it? Uh, golden delicious apple or a nice ripe pear. You know, so you get that that feel in the mouth, that the nice fruitiness, even though it's a dry wine. So again, very pleasant. I would drink this. I would enjoy this, and I would not be ashamed to share this with my friends. 2018 Rufino Orvieto Classico. Move away from Pinot Grigio and some of those other whites. Jump outside of the box. Do something different and enjoy something different. I guess you know what I'm going with this, right? Your Wisconsin wine guy give this Rufino 2018 Orvieto Classico a thumbs up. And for those who didn't know, the Orvieto Classico region is in central Italy, say in between Florence and Rome near Tuscany, Umbria. Look it up. Check it out. So 2018 Rufino, thumbs up. Enjoy it because I'm going to enjoy it, especially on this beautiful sunny day. And I'll see you next time. And as always, let your palate be the guy. We're selecting your next wine. Ciao!